Alright, so you want to create this amazing bounceable animation in Blender. First, create a new scene. Delete the starting cube. Press Shift A to create a plane. We're going to use it for a floor for our bouncy ball. Scale it up and then use a solidify modifier to give us some thickness so we can actually see it in the side view. Now create a UV sphere to use our ball. Reduce the amount of segments and rings to make it low poly and prevent your computer from exploding. What the? Scale it down and move to wherever you like. Shift A and create a thing called Bezier Curve. Spend some time positioning the curve in the edit mode to make a path for your ball to follow. Make sure that every time it hits the ground, the path is at the sharpest angle, so it doesn't look like the ball is gliding. Make around 6 R's that get smaller with each bounce. Alright, so after you finish clicking on our ball and zero out all the transformations using our G. Then go to the constraints. Choose follow path and select the Bezier curve. Now click animate path. And there you go, you've got a bouncing ball. Thank you for watching, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not nearly done yet. So next we need to reposition the curve so the ball doesn't clip through the floor as much. Using the offset slider we can now regulate where on the curve the ball is. Right clicking on the offset will let you make a keyframe. Select two points before and after the highest point of the curve and keyframe them. This will make a nice slow movement in the air before the ball flies down. Create a keyframe at the spot where the ball hits the ground. Now you have a nice slow in and fast out motion. Next you're gonna have to do it for every single one of the arches so that the movement is realistic and natural. Wow, now we got a really nice bouncing ball, we must be done now, right? Yeah, no. Oh my god! Now we need squashing and stretching. Find a point one frame after the second keyframe at the top and keyframe it. Do the same thing to the point where the ball hits the ground. Find a frame in the middle of those two, choose the ball and stretch it out. Make sure you make the side smaller since it's stretching out. Position it on the curve and keyframe it. Right now we have a stretch, it looks really nice, right? Yes, good job. Choose a point where the ball hits the ground and squash it. Uh, yep, uh, no, don't do that, because it makes it look weird like that. Instead, grab one frame before the impact and one frame after the impact. Keyframe that so that it starts squashing at the impact and not somewhere in the air. Now you can squash the ball, I give you my full permission. Make sure to scale up the sides since it's squashing, and when it squashes, all the surface is supposed to go from Z axis to X and Y. Okay, now we're finally getting something decent. Keyframe this frame, and go in the middle, stretch out the ball, position it, and keyframe. Now you will spend the rest of your life doing this for every single arch except for the last three. After you're done, you can even sort of roll the ball over because like, you can't just stop after it's done bouncing. Okay, the animation is done, but the ball is still looks like crap, so you need to put a subdivision modifier on it and shade it smooth. Of course we need to give it a material, so go on shading viewport, make new material, choose the color, adjust your roughness, specular and metallic settings, however you like it. You also need to create a scene for it, so create a plane, pull it down, scale it up, and use my weird method of making walls by creating a lot of loop cuts, selecting them and extruding them up. Select the floor and use bevel to make it really cool looking like that. Position your camera. When you go in the render view, everything is dark. Why? You, you got no lights. Like, what? Make your lights and position them wherever. And there you go, you have a bouncing ball animation with a good scene. Yeah, mine didn't turn out as good, but like, I hope you can do better. Alright, that is it. Thank you for watching, goodbye.